Hello everyone, welcome to another Bible Trivia Quiz by Bible Quiz Academy. I'll be your host again, Jonathan, looking at a general Bible quiz this time around. How well do you know the scriptures? We're about to find out, starting with question one. Question one. Do not be afraid. I am your shield and exceedingly great reward. Who was told these words by God? Was it Samuel, Abram, or Moses? The answer is Abram. Genesis 15.1 says, After these things the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision, saying, Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield, your exceedingly great reward. Question 2. Melchizedek was the king of, was it Salem, Israel, or Judah? The answer is Salem. Genesis 14.18 says, Then Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine. He was the priest of God Most High. Question 3. What is the name of Isaac's wife? Is it Leah, Rachel, or Rebecca? The answer is Rebecca. Genesis 24, 67 says, Then Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent, and he took Rebecca, and she became his wife, and he loved her. Question 4. What was used to build the Tower of Babel? Is it bricks, stones, or wood? The answer is bricks. Genesis 11.3 says, Then they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They had brick for stone, and they had asphalt for mortar. Question 5. What are the names of Noah's sons? Is it Shem, Ham, and Jephthah? Is it Shem, Manoah, and Japheth? Or is it Shem, Ham, and Japheth? The answer is Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Genesis 6, 9 says, And Noah begot three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Question 6. What condition did the sons of Jacob give to Shechem for him to marry their sister, Dina? Is it to offer a sacrifice, to get circumcised, or to pay dowry? The answer is to get circumcised. Genesis 34, 22. Only on this condition will the men consent to dwell with us, to be one people, if every male among us is circumcised as they are circumcised. Question 7. Where did Moses flee to when Pharaoh wanted to kill him? Was it Moab, Ur, or Midian? The answer is Midian. Exodus 2.15. When Pharaoh heard of this matter, he sought to kill Moses. But Moses fled from the face of Pharaoh and dwelt in the land of Midian, and he sat down by a well. Question 8. The Ten Commandments are recorded in which chapter of the book of Exodus? Is it 20, 11, or 22? The answer is 20. Exodus 23 says, You shall have no other gods before me. Question 9. What commandment comes after you shall not murder? Is it you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, or you shall not lie? The answer is you shall not commit adultery. Exodus 20, 13 through 15, you shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal. Question 10. During the consecration of Aaron and his sons, where did Moses apply blood on them? Was it their ears, eyes, and mouth, their head, shoulders, and toes, or their ears, thumbs, and toes? 
The answer is ears, thumbs, and toes. Leviticus 8.24 Then he brought Aaron's sons, and Moses put some of the blood on the tips of their right ears, on the thumbs of their right hands, and on the big toes of their right feet. Question 11. Why were the children of Israel commanded not to eat blood? Is it because blood carries the life of the flesh? Blood is unclean, or blood is meant for priests only? The answer is, is that blood carries the life of the flesh. Leviticus 17.11 says, For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make atonement for your souls, for it is the blood that makes atonement for the soul. Question 12. What does the book of Leviticus from chapter 1 to chapter 7 talk about? Is it food that should not be eaten, offerings, or laws of consecration? The answer is offerings. Uh, the book of Leviticus from chapter 1 to chapter 7 talks about the different kinds of offerings the Israelites were commanded to offer. Question 13. Under whose banner did the tribes camp on the east side of the tabernacle? Is it Judah, Naphtali, or Ephraim? The answer is Judah. Numbers 2-3 reads, On the east side, toward the rising of the sun, those of the standard of the forces of Judah shall camp according to their armies, and Nishan, the son of Amminadab, shall be the leader of the children of Judah. Question 14. What punishment did God give to Miriam for speaking against Moses? Is it she became barren, she died, or she became leprous? The answer is she became leprous. Numbers 12.10 reads, And when the cloud departed from above the tabernacle, suddenly Miriam became leprous, as white as snow. Then Aaron turned toward Miriam, and there she was, a leper. Question 15. What is the name of the woman who hid the Israelite spies in Jericho? Was it Tamara, Rahab, or Ruth? The answer is Rahab. Joshua 2.1. Now Joshua the son of Nun sent out two men from Acacia Grove to spy secretly, saying, Go, view the land, especially Jericho. So they went and came to the house of a harlot named Rahab and lodged there. Question 16. How many men did Gideon go with to battle? Is it 500, 300, or 200? The answer is 300. Judges 7-7. Seven, seven. Then the Lord said to Gideon, By the 300 men who lapped, I will save you and deliver the Midianites into your hand. Let all the other people go, every man to his place. Question 17. Jephthah vowed to offer the first thing or person that received him from battle as a burnt offering. Who did that person turn out to be? Is it his daughter, his wife, or his son? The answer is his daughter. Judges 11.34 when Jephthah came to his house at Mizpah, there was his daughter, coming out to meet him with timbrels and dancing, and she was his only child. Question 18. Where was Ruth from? Is it Midian, Canaan, or Moab? The answer is Moab. Ruth 1.4 reads, Now they took wives of the women of Moab, the name of the one was Orpah, and the name of the other Ruth, and they dwelt there about ten years. Question 19. What happened to the god of the Philistines when they placed the ark before its statue? Did it disappear? It was crushed to dust, or it fell on its face before the ark? The answer is it fell on its face before the ark, 1 Samuel 5.3. And when the people of Ashdod arose early in the morning, there was Dagon, fallen on its face to the earth before the ark of the Lord. So they took Dagon and set it in its place again. Question 20. 
What was Saul doing when Samuel went to look for him to anoint him? Was it looking after sheep, looking for donkeys, or fighting a battle? The answer is looking for donkeys. 1 Samuel 9.3 Now the donkeys of Kish, Saul's father, were lost. And Kish said to his son Saul, Please take one of the servants with you, and arise, go, and look for the donkeys. Question 21. Who was the chief captain of the army of David? David. Was it Abner, Joab, or Jonathan? The answer is Joab. Chronicles 11.6 says, Now David said, Whoever attacks the Jebusites first shall be chief and captain. And Joab the son of Zariah went up first and became chief. Question 22. What punishment did David's wife Michal get for despising him? Is it she became barren, she died, or David left her? The answer is that she became barren. 2 Samuel 6.23 reads, Therefore Michal, the daughter of Saul, had no children to the day of her death. Question 23. What role was Ezra playing? Is it he was the king's butler, he was a scribe, or that he was a priest? The answer is he was a scribe. Ezra 7, 6. Then Ezra came up from Babylon, and he was a skilled scribe in the law of Moses, which the Lord God of Israel had given. The king granted him all his requests according to the hand of the Lord his God upon him. Question 24. How long did it take the Israelites to rebuild the wall of Jerusalem? Is it 53 days, 54 days, or 52 days? The answer is 52 days. Nehemiah 6.15 says, So the wall was finished on the 25th day of Elul in 52 days. Question 25. Who was Mordecai to Esther? Was it her uncle, her father, or her cousin? The answer is her cousin, Esther 2.7. And Mordecai had brought up Hadassah, that is, Esther, his uncle's daughter, for she had neither father nor mother. Question 26. Which is the longest chapter in the book of Psalms? Is it Psalms 119, Psalms 133, or Psalms 19? The answer is Psalms 119. Psalms 119 is the longest chapter in the book of Psalms with 176 verses. Question 27. In the book of Psalms 1, what have the ungodly been likened to? Is it thorns, wild vine, or chaff? The answer is chaff. Psalms 1-4, the ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Question 28. What does Proverbs chapter 8 talk about? Is it wisdom, a woman, or judgment? The answer is wisdom. Proverbs 8.1 Does not wisdom cry out and understanding lift up her voice? Question 29. Which among David's sons slept with his concubines? Is it Absalom, Solomon, or Adonijah. The answer is Absalom. Second Samuel sixteen twenty three twenty two. Excuse me. So they pitched a tent for Absalom on the top of the house, and Absalom went into his father's concubines in the sight of all Israel. Question thirty. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. From which book has this verse been quoted? Is it Jeremiah, 
Psalms, or Ezekiel? The answer is Psalms. Psalms 137.1 reads, By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down, yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. Question 31. Which prophet was fed by ravens? Is it Elisha, Elijah, or Isaiah? The answer is Elijah. 1 Kings 17, 1-6, And Elijah the Tishbite of the inhabitants of Gilead, skip to verse 6, The ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning, and bread and meat in the evening. Question 32. How did Jezebel die? Is it she was stoned, she was killed by a sword, or she was thrown down? The answer is she was thrown down. 2 Kings 9.33 reads, Then he said, Throw her down. So they threw her down, and some of her blood spattered on the wall and on the horses, and he trampled her underfoot. Question 33. Who did Saul summon when he consulted a medium? Was it Moses, Elijah, or Samuel? The answer is Samuel. 1 Samuel 28.11 Then the woman said, Whom shall I bring up for you? And he said, Bring up Samuel for me. Question 34. Who was David's best friend? Was it Saul, Jonathan, or Abner? The answer is Jonathan. 1 Samuel 18.3 says, Then Jonathan and David made a covenant because he loved him as his own soul. Question 35. During whose reign did a hand appear and write on the wall? Was it Belshazzar, Cyrus, or Nebuchadnezzar? The answer is Belshazzar. Daniel 5, 2-5 says, While he tasted the wine, Belshazzar gave the command to bring the gold and silver vessels in the same hour the fingers of a man's hand appeared and wrote opposite the lampstand on the plaster of the wall. Question 36. How many times did Naaman dip himself in Jordan to receive healing? Was it five, six, or seven? The answer is seven. Second Kings 5.10 reads, And Elisha sent a messenger to him, saying, Go, and wash in the Jordan seven times, and your flesh shall be restored to you, and you shall be clean. Question 37. How many wives did Solomon have? Was it 700, 300, or 1,000? The answer is 700. 1 Kings 11.3 reads, And he had 700 wives, princesses, and 300 concubines, and his wives turned away his heart. Question 38. Complete this section, but those who blank shall renew their strength. Is it wait on the Lord, pray to God, or trust in the Lord? The answer is wait on the Lord. Isaiah 40, 31. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Question 39. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder. From which chapter has this verse been quoted? Is it Isaiah 29, Isaiah 9, or Isaiah 19? The answer is Isaiah 9, Isaiah 9, 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Question 40. Which king succeeded Solomon? Was it Rehoboam, 
Jehoahaz or Joash. The answer is Rehoboam, 1 Kings 11, 43. Then Solomon rested with his fathers and was buried in the city of David, his father, and Rehoboam, his son, reigned in his place. Congratulations, you made it to the end of another trivia quiz. How did you do? Don't forget to let us know in the comment section. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel to be able to stay up to date with more quizzes. I hope you did well. If not, better luck next time. Have a wonderful day.